on three. One, three. Welcome back to the channel. So I've been getting a lot of requests about this plugin called Vido, a new plugin. Well, it was new like a month ago when I was getting all these requests, but I finally managed to get it. And today we're going to do a little sound design session. So the coolest thing about this plugin is that it's free and a lot of people will buy it yeah. <sighs> and a lot of people will get it. It's going to be a huge competitor for Serum and so not everyone can afford serum and i think this is gonna be the best alternative for it and steve duda be like bro my sales go down it just has all the functions that serum has and more so i've been messing around with this plugin today a little bit so i have like general understanding of how it works so we can make some cool sounds today and i made this sound that's kind of crazy <laughs> And it says, what the hell, but very bad words. So <laughs> let's just go through the functions real quick. And then we're going to make some sounds. Well, if you've been using Serum, this is really similar. It has a main oscillator section, then effects, then matrix, and then advanced settings. A preset browser and volume meter. And it also has a, a spectrum. That's cool. So uh, the initial preset. It's just a saw wave. Sounds kind of good. I like the quality of the saw wave. If you want to watch the full tutorial on the synth, there's a tutorial by the guy from In The Mix YouTube channel. He did a really great job of explaining the whole synth. We're going to go through the sections still, but I'm not going to be explaining everything in depth. So the main oscillator section, volume, pan, pitch, tuning you can set the pitch to like if you want only a c note you can set the pitch and this is gonna like auto tune it to a c note global snap you have the whole wavetable thing here unisono for making super saws here are some cool wavetable altering things like you can vocode <laughs> i was like what the hell you can do formants, that's crazy, random amplitudes. That's a nice bass. Let's add distortion. Hell yeah. Let's add the white noise. There we go. Yeah, a classic white noise, beefy bass. Really good for chord stack layers. Yeah, uh, a lot of these are really cool. Shepherd tone kind of blew my mind a little bit today because what it does is like the tone goes up, it fades in, but also it fades out. So it creates that feeling that is actually going up, but in reality it's like staying on the same note. Right, so at the beginning. And at the end, this is the same, but in the middle. Right, so it goes from F to F, but it pitch bends. This should be illegal. Um, so macros, of course, and then we have filter section. You can set outputs to it. That's really good. What I like about this filter section is that it has like three parameters here. One is like a, like a blend. Another one is just simply cutoff. And another one is like resonance. So if we go into like a comp filter, you can do this. You can do this. You can do this. You get more automation options. Random is cool. You can apply it to like a, like a level or something, like do whatever. And it's just gonna uh, randomize this using like a Perlin noise. Sample and hold. That's really useful if you wanna create some unexpected stuff. So if I want to have a chorus, right? I open it here. But if I want to have a second chorus later, I cannot do this. There's no, no option to duplicate this effect. Um, yeah, this is just fixed amount of effects. But if you open like face plant, you can put as many effects as you want. And that gives you more sound design options. Hey, oh, food. Huh? I found a glitch. I found a bug. <laughs> 
So the coolest thing I found here is that if you go to wavetable and you right click and then you click text to wavetable, you can type like I love burgers. Boom. And it turns this into a talking. I'm going to apply this to wavetable position and see. Check this out. I love burgers. <laughs> what the hell? I love burgers. I'm, I love burgers. That's how I made this thing. <laughs> I love burgers. Hell yeah, of course I do. A lot of sauce, a lot of pickles. Now a cool thing is gonna happen because uh, what I did and what I, I'm gonna do it again, I'm gonna put this LFO onto like volume. I love, I love, Just speed it up. I love burgers. I love burgers. I, I love, bur I love burgers. Yeah, if you use compressor, this is initially OTT. I love Reverb. I has a visual EQ, I love, huge plus for it. I, lo I love burgers. I love burgers. I love burgers. Yeah, also check this out. Go here, you can shape it by just dragging. I love burgers. That's a cool feature. Yeah, so I think now. I love burgers. I love the frequency, I'm gonna apply a note onto the frequency. Yeah, and then like... I love burgers. I love burgers. How about the foreman shift? So now if we go to LFO1 and we modulate the height of it, because this is the position of the wavetable. And speed this up. How about random onto the pitch and uh, sing and sample and hold? Ooh. I want to apply random to this. I want to change the shape actually. It's like a position. I don't, no, no, no. That's a big plus to Serum because now you can modulate the points. I want to automate the points. There's a one question. Is there a reverb filter? Should be in the comb filters. No, there's no reverb filter. No. People buy Serum only for river reverb, reverb filter. How about I random this uh, position, right? Oh my god, what did I do? I broke the plugin again. Oh, you can do this? Oh, you can do this. That's cool. Okay, <laughs> let's now check some different stuff like sin. So let's see presets. I'm, I'm just gonna make like a boom. Oh, this is cool. Ah, oh, we have some heavy chords. This is cool. Okay. Okay. Pretty cool. Okay, this one is really cool. Um, also, advanced settings, MP enabled. What's cool now is that if we go here, right click and enable MPE mode. Dude, stop. How about one more chord? Da, da. Okay, so now we go into MPE mode and we add a point here. Then we add the point here. We add the point here. 
hell yeah. So I'm gonna add the same thing to all of them to do the transition to the next chord. If I had like a rolly, that would be really simple, but I wouldn't be able to play these chords because I, I just figured them out on the MIDI. Oh, hell yeah. Ah, there's some annoying low end here. Yeah, don't do this while you're doing this. Ugh. Yeah, that's good. What I um, found out recently about is that the multipass has a lot of cool presets that you can just pick and just enjoy. So I'm just gonna take some reverberation. Smooth things out. This is basically an effect chain. It's split into frequency bands. Yeah, that's good. And make a resampling track, resample that. Okay, guys, are you ready? Now, oh, the string section on three. One, three. Very good, very good. Now we can go home. Because that's it. That's a sample. That's a sample I needed, okay? And go home now. What? You want money for one sample? <laughs> Bro, are you crazy? Bro, I'm not paying my employees for thousand samples. You want money for one sample? <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe a little bit less of the multi-pass reverb thing. But that's good. Uh, I want to see what's going to sound like if I bump it up to like five. Ooh, that's good. How about low? Ooh, ooh. Good stuff. Like, it has a lot of presets. I think one of the biggest, like, because they're not making... Because they're not... <laughs> they're not making money from the synth, but there are presets for it. So, are you done? Uh, if you go to the website, there are presets. Ooh. That's sick. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Uh, I hope this guy stops doing this, what he's doing. Let me know what you think about the vital. Let, let me know what if you if you want me to make a track with this sample. Like a chill stuff, like like have a nice day and see you in the next one. So that's it. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, you can side on that subscribe button. Also, you can visit my site oversample.us for some high quality samples, presets and free sounds.